carpet and the dash pad on the inside. Huh? What engine does this have? It's a little 2.3. I'm not too familiar when you get into the four cylinders. I grew up on V8s and that's it. Well, I thought it had a V8 because you know no. fucking That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Hell yeah. Put a Mustang, put a Mustang HO in it. No, for real. I thought <laughs> that would be cool. That shit. This thing's a this thing's a tow mobile. It's still neat though. It's, it's, it's pretty fucking yeah. good, That's my recycling. I think I'm going to put it all inside and on top to where I look like I'm from Egypt or something when I go to the <laughs> recycling place. <laughs> There's that convertible. Dude, huh? that thing. Sweet. The guy, it's, I just buffed it out. It's, it was thin because he's buffed it so much in life. But, I mean, it's original, man. You don't find 72s like this all original no more. Well, I mean... I know it's stupid, if, like, in your case, it's stupid to invest money on something that you already have whenever you can sell it like this, but does the price boost up mm -hmm. if you do? That's where I'll get top dollar for somebody who doesn't want to guess what's under the paintwork. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he knows this thing's a rust yeah. free yeah. versus yeah. if we paint it, then you I get people wonder. coming out and they're wanting to put their magnets on it and expect it for three hours. Oh, and yeah, you will get more for sure. Especially if, dude, it's if, if, it, if dude, they check it. The tops are three bills. That's it. My guy will put the top on for two and a quarter. So for really? 500 bucks or so, yeah, he's really good. 500 bucks or so, the top's gone. A couple grand in paint and touching it up. Dude, it's an $18,000 car with new paint in the top. I mean, go. F you'll find an olds everywhere. Olds, a nice olds goes for eight to fifteen now. I like that. A fifty-seven I got. I thought that was an olds, and it's a fucking Buick. A Buick. I yeah, I was thinking Buick. Buick or old. It's hard to tell. Buick. No, it's nice. Yeah, it is. It's cool, man. This nice car right here. <laughs> it's a Buick. <laughs> I'm hard to believe of that uh, Centurion. The interior is actually original, though, man. Oh, man, it's too good, man. So how much you gonna post this one for? I'm gonna put it up for like thirteen nine or best offer. I expect to get somewhere between. Six to eight. Six to eight is my bottom, man. Six? This is my bottom. Functional, the convertible? Perfectly work. Actually, nine to ten is my bottom. <laughs> because it's the paint. I wish I could keep it, man. Oh, yeah. And I haven't, I haven't. Dude, there's another 70. And this ain't shit, right? No, there's 70 more in Montana, too. But this is a junk. This is nice. That's my jewelers, the same lady that had the red Ferrari. Oh, okay. It's sweet, she's man. Saying, she's saying, she's selling it or what? Yeah, she's saying, I just got it. The the guy paid three grand for the wheels. But I, I just, if you like that kind of thing, open it, yeah. It's, as far as coupes go, it don't get no nicer, man. I'm not a Beamer guy, but I love this yeah. car. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> Exactly. Just because nobody else has one. There you go. You stay here. Be a good girl. We'll be back in a minute. You know, I see it. I see it as. You paint these motherfuckers, you get a lot more money, but yeah, the investment of it, I can see why you wouldn't want to do that. In a way, you know? I can show you what I mean better on the other one. Like the Brooklyn, just, I forgot about it. I don't care that I have it. They only made 1,800 of them, I've got two of them. I'm gonna restore that someday, and that will be my driver. That one right here? Yeah, because nobody has one. You, oh, why? It's a Brooklyn. It's a rare? It's a Brooklyn. Like, you can't get them? No, it's got a big block forward and everything. When you push the button, the doors go, are you serious? Yeah, this is one of the only Goldwing cars ever made. The DeLorean copied this one. Oh, <coughs> I, I didn't even know. Dude. I never... So the DeLorean has like a Peugeot Volvo motor in it that's a six cylinder. This has a big old V8. And this is the button you go, and so they actually self raise. They go wing, they go. Oh, dude. Like the Mercedes, like the old SLs. Yes. And the new ones do it now, too. Brickly. It's just cool. Safety TV vehicle one. The first ever, you hit the bumpers and they go in and feel the bumpers. Are you serious? Yeah, he he designed the whole start of the safety thing. No ashtrays because he didn't believe in smoking while you were driving. It was a distraction. Etc. So etc. Safety, safety vehicle safety. one. It's the Brickland SV1. What the fuck? It's what all oh. It from? It's all acrylic. It's not fiberglass. Are molded you molded in color. 
they came in seven colors and the color when it when it um this one's been painted but when they get dull you just sand it down it's all plastic and then you buff it back out oh okay okay pretty cool not even fiberglass really cool car does it run yeah it runs great the only thing i've got a problem with the vacuum for the doors and it'll kind of just suck and they'll start to come up okay that's so I just need to go through it. Just opening it and figure, figure that shit out. Basically, it's getting rid of 120 cars and then having time to take this one apart and tinker just with do it. it. Yeah. That you need. Did you see this? That's fucking cool. It's okay, this thing only has 25,000 miles. Which one? This one? It came from Beverly Hills. It sit in the garage, and it's an actual LSC model. Okay. Um, 27,000. I'm a lion son of a bitch. Original? Original miles. Damn. Damn it. Just from sitting and my mechanic and stuff, but no, it's... You could tell over there and in the back seat, these take a... It's all sun fade. But I really, really like these, especially with the LSC model. All factory. Woo! You could tell them wheels ain't even been out on the street that long. Oh, shit, man. Damn. This, That's I know you got somebody for. It. A 79? Yes. Fuck a Cutlass, dude. Everybody got a Cutlass or a Monte Carlo. What's what's cooler nowadays, a Monte Carlo or a Cutlass? Probably a Monte, huh? Monte. Uh, depends on the year. 79, yeah, it's got to be a Monte. But this one, this one, they, they like this shit. It's the same damn car, right? Different yeah, nose. Yeah, same shit. Yeah. Same fucking one. But hood's the only, I don't know what happened. The whole car's clean? Fucking hood. I can't believe it. It's weird. It is really weird. There's a little bit here on top. It's okay, girl. But it was a one owner. Oh, dude, not even no Monte Carlo, dude. Monte Carlo didn't have no honeycomb looking wheels. It's okay, girl. Stinking. I can't believe all the things on every GM product made. Uh, they all go. Why, man? The stupid Cadillacs, everything. Every single one of them. It's okay, girl. That. Oh, run, right? Yeah. 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 Well, ask, ask, ask thing. one by one, but most of these, yes, all everything here runs. That won't find another one. Why? E class five speed. You never, ever, ever see a manual here. Ever. And I've left it set because I could clean it up and it will be at some point. It'll buff out nice where they go, oh yeah, it was been taken care of. And it has been. But this right here, a guy should just clean it up a bit, fucking paint this bitch. You will not find, I, I you can look forever, you won't find one. They don't have very many. Really? No. No. Too super cool and sporty. All these are automatics. I would guarantee you couldn't find one today. You'll go find one. The, the, the only other one. Yeah, that size is the only issue, I think. 130? Yeah, but that's what I do, you know? But see, that's just as quick by the time you're yeah. said and done, isn't it? Yeah. A little, yeah, bit, of, a little bit of work on yeah, the hood. Yeah, the hood. just find the hood's the easiest. Yeah. Find the hood and, and the plastic to make it fucking... No, nah, dude, look at them lights. That looks... Yeah. So, oh, man. Yeah, Actually, that's far. begging for, like, custom pinstripe stuff yeah. all over it. Yeah. That them lines, them good. lines. It does have a little bit of a different down slant there yeah. than a Monte Carlo. It's got the two of them though. We gotta go over there. The caddies, I mean, I don't know. The caddies are hot. But it's a, hot. It's a whole different thing to paint though than that yeah. car, that car is an easy deal. Yeah. This is a whole different fucking deal. But it's pretty, I don't know. If all the parts are here, it's not that much different. You got the door panel and shit? Um, I believe it's in the trunk. And you said you got a cheap upholstery guy? Oh, yeah. Original plates on it? No, it's locked up. Are they black? Yeah, yeah. It's the only time we're racist is when they're plates, they have to be black. <laughs> <laughs> I had some guy get mad at me the other day. I sell my Oldsmobile. He called on my Olds, and I, um, I told him about my Buick. 
He goes, oh, no, no, I ain't talking about no Buick. I said, oh, you got to get racist on me, huh? He goes, that's not funny. I said, oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> it sure as hell was funny. Give me a break. That wasn't funny. You got to stick up your ass if you don't think that was funny. El Dorado? This, and this is the one, this is the year I like, man. You got to have the year with the actual the fuck? actual light in the quarter. Damn, I've never seen that shit. Yeah, it's, it's it blinks. one year. Uh, it's a side marker light, I think. And I think I have the skirts in the trunk. But I've got a whole car I took apart, and I've got every part for this car. Really? But it starts up and runs. It's a good car. It just set. It's been sitting for a while, huh? Yeah. Same thing. I mean... If, if you're doing the seats, you're doing the seats. That was clean. I mean, you gotta take all the fucking paint off of it. Yeah. You look like you did it with a roller or something, huh? Yeah, Probably it's primer. Cheap ass paint, it's just crap within the sun. The only thing got no fucking major cancer. Yeah, it could have been a Mako or something, huh? Mako ain't even the place to go for cheap paint no more. It's like 750 yeah. It's like, are you crazy? It ain't got much fucking cancer, does it? It's a nice car. Yeah. 67, I believe. 67? Yeah. Let me look at the lights again. Yeah. Seven or possibly eight. Well, this is, this is nice. Now you got some... That's really nice. Euro bumper. It's not a 560, it's a 500. Super rare. It's the kind of thing I'll probably just buff out. But, what about this? Were you, were you just like giving the Lincoln no love? They're, they're nice, but they're, they're not good at resale, I think. Really? It's nice, it's straighter than any of them, it's clean. And it runs like a champ. Really? Yeah, this one runs good. This is the quickest, for sure. But it's also quick for me to buff out and sell like it is, too. And that's where I am with any of them. If I buff this out and sell it like it is, they're gonna look at it and go, wow, there ain't no damage on it. It's original, that's a survivor, I'm gonna buy it. Oh, I love the rocker panels on these things. So how much would you sell something like this? Every one of them I'll have to look up. If we And if we sell them like they are, we can make some kind of deal and I'll cut you a cut of it. If you find somebody for it that you want to restore it, we'll sell it directly to them and you can restore it or I don't care. Uh, 72? Seventy-two. I don't know how I got into so many seventy-twos like this and the Buick and like a couple all at one time. It's a big old. That's what's cool about it. It's all every piece there. That front piece bent's the worst on it. He he lucked out here, man. He missed everything. <laughs> Damn, that is that is a fucking straight car, man. It really, really is. That sound is so nice. And that's why they buff out. This thing will buff out nice, dude. It really, really will. But you know the end, they're gonna paint it. Yeah, but the thing is, you are selling them as originals. So, I mean, to you, it's a benefit to have them like that because, yeah, people will see that and got no cancer, no nut. But it's either way for me, too. It's either way. If this one, that one, or that one, or the Grand Prix were all fixed up and painted, they're definitely worth more. Oh, yeah. Like a lot more. That Cadillac's nice. All these, really? All these? Isn't that suck? The one that would be the hardest and most to restore is the one we like the most. I like that the most. <laughs> There's just no doubt yeah. about it. That's what I like. Oh, well, yeah, even your pop would like it. Uh, oh, yeah. Done. Well, if he had his choice, no, he'd be all over painting the one over there as a Paris. pickup truck. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be all over that. That one's oh, But then the minute we do that, he'll want to come get it and take my car and, like, start hacking it up and stuff. <laughs> we gotta sell it like it is and try to preserve a little capital here, Dad. Yeah. That would be a quick paint job. This would be the quickest one here, probably. There ain't no bodywork, really. There might be a little little scuff or something, but it's just... Same color, same everything. That, and, and you'd have to go same color, exactly. You get something with 25, 30,000 miles, you can't go a different color. 
No. Oh. <laughs> be stupid. No. Do it for resale? It'd be stupid. Put a, I don't know. One of these. I gotta take one and put like a Paxton supercharger on it or something and keep it. You know? Put the baddest Mustang motor in the world in this thing. Just make the ultimate sleeper. But dude, you got so many fucking cars, man. I know. But you you can you couldn't pick one, huh? No, I couldn't. You pick one and say, oh, that's the one I want to fix up. No, I can say that about a dozen so. of them. No. Hey, what if you find anybody on this? This would be weird to find somebody on. But that's mine. Oh, that's cool, man. From like putting up signs and fucking. You could do that. Shit. You could do that. It was an oh, engineer. Oh. And it was a scan van. And they plotted out the entire 215 and everything with it. Oh, okay. The Interstate 215. They put it up and there's like digital shit on it. Oh, okay. And that boom actually articulates too. I so you could put the guy in the air and dump bucket. him out. Uh, you could put a bucket on it. You can't put You just got to worry out because you can dump yourself out. There's an extra control oh, okay. on this one. Okay. But super cool. I'm stinking lights and stuff. Yeah. I, okay. Generator. What? Christmas. It's seriously big money. What you do though is you got to get your little niece's kid to sell it, and then you make the big money. <laughs> you and me, you, you and me ain't gonna make yeah, much. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, hey, what's up, these fools? <laughs> we'll, we'll be begging for a buck a bag. They'll be giving a kid five a bag. Yeah, you know? <laughs> You're absolutely right. I used to clean it up when we did the chocolate bars in school. And they were a buck a piece, and I'd sell two for three and shit and keep all the extra money. I love selling chocolate bars. <laughs> I won every contest they had, dude. All I did was live at Vaughn's after school. Damn. You remember the things in the back of the comic book where you could sell them and get yes. all the prizes? I, yes. I got every prize on that shit I won. I sold so many Christmas cards and shit. God <laughs> ah, damn, dude. They don't do shit like kids. So they, you've been they don't do shit for like that no time, more. Huh? Ah, yeah. Dude, it's all fucking. Internet and bullshit. Internet and bullshit. When I went to the... My dad used to go buy, like, skill saws for five, ten bucks and then, like, sell them on the job site for, like, twenty bucks. I mean, just... He was making money on doing little things at the swap meet and stuff. I loved doing that. Kids don't do that no more. You go to the swap meet now and it's all, like, tube socks. Five dollars for five pairs. They don't have no old shit you can, like... The one out here is good. The Santee swap meet's still good. Is it? I used to go up before, but I haven't been there for a long time. Spring Valley blows, dude. Yeah, it, it became blows. too fucking... I even like fucking like, the little National City one. Is it nice still? It's cool. It's not all new stuff? No. Kobe's is the... I can't yeah, even handle cool, Kobe's. Man, but shit, they sell shit expensive there, man. Yeah, Kobe's is getting... Yeah, yeah. it has. It's it went from a deep... It's like Goodwill's back in the days was the shit. And now it's all high. It's, it's a fucking uh, department store, man. Did you know that Goodwill is not a charity? It's not? No. People just go give them their shit and they sell it. It's a business. What the fuck? It's not like the um, Salvation Army or nothing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just a business. I didn't know that. I read a little report on it. Wow. Now that's a gimmick, huh? Hell yeah. That's a big gimmick. <laughs> Damn I, it. I think I've given my stuff to them before. <laughs> they make it, you know, make it sound good. This is my old yard. I just moved out. This oh, is when I was oh, yeah, bitching I about that. moving out. Yep, I see this. And this guy gets these RVs. All fucked up. They pay him to get him rid of them. Oh, really? So he hauls them out here and he rips them apart. And he actually tears all the wiring out and like he recycles each piece. Oh, cool little tractors. Look at the little one. Dude, that That's is fucking so badass. cool. Alice Chalmers, I gotta call my dad. I saw a dude that He'll fucking want that. built one on in, 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 uh, IG, man. It was fucking awesome. But it was a bigger one, a little bit bigger than that one. Yeah, my dad will so awesome. want, and I guarantee you they're getting scrapped. Probably, huh? Gonna... That one's fucking awesome, man. I gotta send my dad a picture. He'll like that. Stay, stay, breeder. Good girl. Good girl. You're gonna hang yourself. Let me get that off. Come on, we'll roll the window down. Good girl.
Yeah, guarantee they're gonna chop, it up. chop that truck up too. It's just amazing. I mean, that's such a cool boom. And the ram on I mean, this guy's gotta be a youth. It's amazing to see the stuff he's gotten in here. Really? Yeah. My move wasn't all that bad. Like that right there was too much. Because I had to move this far. Oh, that's some bullshit. Hey, man, you still got to pick it all up. You know the hardest part was once we got everything moved, all the shit that was underneath it all. Oh, yeah, the mess, the trash, the bullshit. You just don't realize until afterwards. Oh, there he is right there. See, the auction did that to me, man. The auction did? Yeah. Let's go. No chasing the crows. Just the A-arm and stuff, though. Damn. This is a clean car. Yeah, it is. I, it's so weird. This always goes. But it's so weird how the centers went and the sides didn't on none of it. But I'm just going to have my guy redo it. 15,000. Watch this. It's good. And I mean, you look at the car, you're like, oh, let's beat the hill. Well, not really. You know, this is the worst thing for me. I have so many different cars, I can't keep track of where the... Damn. You can tell, dude, it's just not been... Yeah, dude. It's just not been broken in. I mean, the thing's even got hot enough yet. Yeah, no shit. Dude. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's clean. <laughs> nice car. And it runs yes, great. It uh, the only thing wrong with this car... The bearing is a little loud in there, which they all do that. But these are cool little motors. Fuck yeah, man. Especially the five speed. This will be fun, huh? You know what? I'm pretty sure this is the only year that has that lip bumper. When you just did that, I started thinking. Yeah, I don't I think that it is in any other year, and I don't even know if it's on the regular ones. I haven't seen that. No, it might not be on the regular. I'll bet you it's not because that's a different spoiler down in the front than a regular T-Bird. Yep. That's what makes it look a little different in the side, the side clamming. Yeah. Cladding. Ground effect, huh? Is this a cool car in like the same way that the old is a cool car? Does somebody want this as a cruiser like that too? Or just as a daily I driver? This is, this is more of a, yeah, like a daily driver. Daily driver slash yeah. mini muscle type thing, huh? Yep. Street machine yeah kind of shit it's straight too besides what they did here yeah. and it's just this quarter needs to be pulled out about a quarter eighth of an inch you can tell the doors off just a yep. tad from it and it's mostly down from where they they just smacked it you could tell the hanger yep. a little bit of adjustment attitude adjustment that <laughs> that's cool man what year is this one six Five or six, 65 or 66. Yeah, you know they love these. They love these. Who's they? Just people who are... You sell, you sell to the same kind of crowd like all the time? Most of the people, yeah. I mean, it's a group. It's like a community of people. And you just hit it out there. I mean, you, you can post this shit on, uh, on Lay It Low. These cars? Oh, lots of lowrider type stuff. Oh yeah, dude, lay it low. Hey, dude, a... that would make a lay it low. It's got hydraulic That's... suspension. What? Yeah, it's gonna go. That's the kind of car that that dude got in the air. This will go up like five, six inches. It's got hydraulics or airbags? Hydraulic. Really? Yeah, not air. This is hydraulic. Batteries and shit in the trunk? No, no, no. Factory hydraulics. Factory? Running off hydraulic oil. Are you fucking serious? Like a tractor. Let me pop the hood. This is six. The they call this the banker's hot rod. It's a 6.9 liter. What the hell? Stay breeder. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. Maybe on the sides? No? Yeah, right here. Big old 
motor. God damn. I got the top for that somewhere. Big ass engine. Yeah, it is. Can't believe the top's off of here. I'm gonna have to look and find that. What a pain in the ass. Is this it? What? What lifts up the suspension? Um. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here's the, here's the starts of it. That's your canister for it. That's a fucking trip, man. Yeah, all the hydraulic lines everywhere. Yeah, dude. It's different, and it, it's cool. I've had three of these, and they, they're, they're different. They're cool. I, I, they have these big park bench bumpers. Because it was the years where they changed all that shit. But people dig them. It's crazy drops, huh? Hey, get your head out of there. Where are you going? 71 limo? Baby limo, not a real limo. Yeah. This could be dropped. This could be fucking gangster out, huh? Don't you think? I mean, it's not long you know, enough to be... Nice on this one, dude? A nice flat black, dude? Flat black will look good. Oh huh? man, it will look so fucking aggressive, dude. You really don't know it's a limo until you really start looking at it. It's only a little longer, but they're factory converted limos. That's fucking cool, man. Pop this out and stick a TV console in here or something. Yeah. <laughs> Metal, a little fucking. Put a little uh, chandelier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know the reason I haven't done anything with this thing runs like a top. I was gonna it say runs that. like a top. For real? I just haven't done nothing yet because you either go custom or you get the factory caps. This is bullshit. I ain't even paying to put tires on that bullshit wheels. You either get the factory caps on a car like this and go full limo, you know, they're 150, 250 bucks, or put some 24s and make it a fucking rider. This is just sweet car. Yes, dude, some 24s drive, dude. <laughs> Damn it. You can kind of get a preview by it being so low with no tires, huh? <laughs> it looks so long, dude. That engine dropped all the way to the floor, dude. Look at what looks so fucking long. And these you are got the, the skirts? These are the AC vents. You got the skirts? Yeah. Yeah, they're in the trunk, I believe. So it is considered a, a, a limo. Yes, it's a factory limo. They stinking got lost in my keys. Dude, I just fixed a couple of fucking rust parts. I guess I've got my keys in my shop. But. It's fucking crazy, man. Basically, a, a bit of the trunk is filled up with the air conditioner. Because it's one of them old school air conditioners. I mean, it's got like a one that fits in your window back here. Really? Yeah, it's got the extra AC. It worked? I, I don't really know. It's a swamp cooler type thing, so I guess and it does. This ain't cool. You don't care about that. Yeah, that one. Uh... It is cool. And if you know somebody, my way, I want 750 bucks for it. One owner, I've got every registration slip that ever came with it. Runs like a top 97,000 original miles. It's a cool old car. Sell it to somebody for a grand, make the in-between. I mean, this is a cool old car, but it's got its obvious one owner, dude. Look at this little fan on the dash and shit. I think it's 97,000 original. It runs like a dream. It just looks like it looks. Yeah. It's just a weird body, huh? Yeah, old Plymouth bullshit. Now that's a cool car. It's just not that. Not that. It looks like it needs more than it does. Is this the same one that he had in the, in the fucking uh, movie Black Sheep? Pretty close. Pretty close. So, uh, it looks it's like it's a it. GT. It's it's the one to have. This is the weirdest one. All the paint just fucking peeled off. It ain't rusted through nowhere, but it just all peeled off. Very very cool. Very cool old car. It just looks so fucking rough, but... It, it does. Take it apart, fucking grind it, clean it up. Sand it down and get it one color to be beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rip that top off. That even that right there would make it look better. Yep. 
these, whatever, I've got a bunch of them. Um, there's a 600. I'll make you a deal on this. What's the deal? The deal is... What's the deal? Doesn't run? It runs back poorly. Okay. And why? It's got 123. It's got the AMG wheels and stuff. Can you pull it, the hood to where we don't break that stupid thing? Here's the issue. I just replaced this wiring harness. Okay. And I think this is the one. That's why they go bad. That's the worst thing about Mercedes, and nobody knows them on these. But that's why they go bad right there. You, you can see up. it just shortened it itself out. So it's a good car. It was a good runner. How far does the harness go? They all plug up here. It's just up here. This just goes to the mass airflow sensor, I think, is where this one goes. Um, in fact, these kids that work for me, they are really they were really good at fixing them. Um, they were between three to five hundred bucks on eBay for the harnesses. But as we thought about it and looked about it, a guy needs to get some wire. Take the time. Just fucking take the time and make one for 400 bucks. And you're buying the same damn thing. Just make the fucking harness. You can make it for 50 bucks worth of wire. Yeah. And it'd be good forever because you'd be using like Granger wire or something. So that's the common problem with these? That's the big, everybody you'll hear. Oh, that's got the wiring harness issue. And when you think wiring harness, being an American car guy, I immediately think tearing the thing apart from the back tail light to the front tail light. That's what I think of when I think of a wiring harness. Yeah. But it's an engine harness type thing. So pretty simple. And then all your, you've got five computers in there. In there? And you just pull them out and like one of them, he was checking to see if it might be misfiring on the throttle bodies. So what we've got is either that wire or the throttle bodies are misfiring. And we track it down to that wire goes to the throttle bodies and plugs in over here. So that's exactly what we think it is. So best case scenario, just that wire. Worst case scenario, that wire and that throttle body. And that's the only bad thing about a six is you buy two of everything. <laughs> this is a S320 motor, two of them welded together. That's what it is. Oh shit. It's a 320 motor welded two of them together. That's their 600. A very nice car. I'll look it up. Not much, dude. Not much at all. Yeah, it's all the parts for the front. Everything's there. It's just we took a. It's got. You know, that's the bad thing about Mercedes. They got more plastic under the hood to scare you away. Really and truly. That could be fixed, right? Oh, yeah. wires. Okay. This is the other one. these <laughs> two. That one is probably closer to. Um, that one's got salvage. It's not that worth one. messing with yeah. if we needed parts, maybe. Yeah. That one runs, drives, and most importantly, doesn't doesn't really need anything inside. I mean, it'll pass, man. That'll pass yeah, for nice right original. Yeah, you can drive it like that. Squirt it and drive it. And the top is actually a lot better than that other one that I have over at the other yard. You could pass that if you had to. I do too. I love that blood red on everything. I mean, that's looking. We'll use this one. 86, 7, or 8. Seven. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven? Yeah. Really? Whoa! Sorry, girl. Wow. I thought it was newer. Well, that's better. The one at the other yard is a 76. They made these six, seven, eight. And then nine goes to the bustle back. Yeah. I kind of like them. Yeah, they're cool. Just some people don't like them. Some people absolutely hate them. Maybe that's why I like them, is because some people hate them so much. Yeah. <laughs> you take something that's ugly, make it look nice. They love it. What's the rover? It's a Callaway. What's the, what's the deal on that one? It's got, I'll make you a deal on it. It needs ignition. Uh, uh, coil packs. Okay. 
um, 110 or 80, between 89 to 110, I don't remember. But it's a Callaway edition like the Corvettes. Okay. So it's got a little bit of super duper vroom vroom stuff on it. Nice car. Here, you know, and if you're liking the Mercedes, this is a W126. This one is an absolute freaking steal. It just depends on the body style. I love this body. So it's my second favorite. This thing's only got. Oh, damn. Dude, this thing's only got 90,000 miles. Well, when you close that door, it sounds like brand new. This is a nice car. You can find one on Craigslist that needs a motor. It needs a motor. Needs a motor. That's it. Sweet car, dude. It's so clean. I actually paid a guy to put a motor in this. Took it down to Nasty City. Yanked everything out. Got it impounded. How the fuck did you? I don't know. Got it impounded. So I get a call. And I made this choice. I paid to get the fucking car back out of inbound. So I bought the goddamn thing, gave him some money to do something, and I went and bought the fucker back because it's so clean. I couldn't let him have it. I just couldn't let him have it, man. <laughs> this one's funny. Dude, you don't see them. Very, very cool little yeah, truck. People. That's pretty neat, dude. You know, check out the motor. Pop that, pop that, and pull the seat up. Like that little wire. There you go. What the fuck? Isn't that cool? Oh, damn it. That's fucking neat. That's fucking neat. It's a different car, man. It's a, it's a one owner, 140,000 mile. This is, this is cool, man. Fucking Scooby-Doo, man. It's kind of Scooby-Doo, Sean. Yeah, it gives you that feeling. Dude, this would be the perfect one, man. Euro, so you got the right bumpers. Dude, just depends. A lot of people, a lot of people are starting to make these lower now. Little low riders out of these. I've seen a couple of them. This guy was trying years ago, but he just didn't lower it. That's cool little baby, baby wires. <laughs> what are they like? 12, 13s? I don't know. What are they? They gotta be 14s, don't they? 14. 14s, yeah. They were big money back in the day to get the actual. Now, these are Mercedes wire wheels? I believe they're Mercedes knockoffs, yeah. I don't know. Man, I don't want to say. I believe they are factory Mercedes. That you bought them at the factory, but I don't know. They could be Keystone or something. I doubt they're Keystone. They're something. They're neat. They're something. I don't know if I like less spokes or more. Less spoke is more of a classic look to it. I like it when they have less spokes and they pop out like that. Yeah. That looks sick. They have the cage on it. These fucking uh, Kragers and, and uh, true spokes, are, they're big money, dude. So if you run into those motherfuckers. Kragers? Get them. Or the true spokes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For stupid money, dude. That might be what these are. They could be. But I think the spokes are thicker. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, dude. True spokes? No, I know. true spokes have the bigger. They got a bigger cap? Yeah. I'd like to find out what they are. Oh, man. Don't you have a 97 or something? Yeah. That's a 97 with a bad head gasket. Oh, I hate those motherfuckers. They do that shit. Buy it and plan on the head gasket and you got a good car. Yeah. That's pretty much... Ride. Yeah. I want 800 bucks for it. It's got 80,000 miles, two owners. Oh. I should show you that while I'm over here. Damn it. One owner, 60,000 miles. 60? 60. The paint was not like that when I got it. They stole my wheels at the auction. What the fuck? You know them ones that have all the gold on them yeah, and stuff yeah. for this year? They took them and left me with these. But um, two owner, the guy was a lawyer. It came with a bunch of um, these Jesus dockets Jesus. in it. But 60,000 miles, it needed an alter, uh, uh, distributor. And so we popped one in. I, I just, I'm not going to sell it for big money. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I want like, I want like, 700 bucks for it. And I'm actually gonna just put it on the internet for whatever after it's cleaned up. But it's 60,000 miles, and that's the one you want, dude. That's the 4.9. Yeah. It's the 4.9, it's not yeah. the fucking North Star. And this, this one's forever. running right now? Yeah. How much you want for this one? I think I got some. 700 bucks. I mean, it looks like shit, but you how get it. I mean, how, how, how do these work on the plates? I mean, dude, I'll explain that. Yeah. That's a little bit of a... We'll basically go right to the lady at the DMV. At the DMV, one of them California title places, you know? Yeah, 
I mean, I might even be to the point of it where it's it's worth more in parts. I mean, a, a sixty thousand dollar mile motor, somebody will give me that for it. You know what I mean? The motor. Yeah, yeah. and the tranny. What year is it? Uh, ninety one. Ninety? You better look. Ninety one. Last year. Last year model in a gold package. You know, that's another thing. I like shit that's rare for some reason. And last year model in them is rare. Shit, I could start peeling off gold and sell it for more than that. <laughs> I'm serious, you know. People pay for them emblems. Last. If you know someone that needs parts, this thing runs like a champ. Just the um, rear main seal leaks. It's a supercharged. And I want like 500 bucks. The rear seal? Rear main between the tranny and the motor. Okay. Just that's dumps, all the, dumps all the fluid right out. And that's it? That's it. Well, I mean, it's got a tore up seat a little bit. Headliner's gone. But I mean, it's a good, all everything works. It runs great. Supercharger. That's the one that you had advertised, huh? Uh, maybe at some point, yeah. And what's wrong with this one? Um, uh, TPS, okay. throttle positioning sensor. And so it only runs up to 35 and kind of won't catch correctly. I did the seats. My guy did the yep. seats on them. He actually did pretty good matching that stuff and making it around because yeah, the, the middle's yeah. original. He left the middle original. And then the last one that a guy could look at and say, wow, it's a totally different thing though. That's an easy paint job. Yeah, they're easy to lift up. And it's good money too. It's a definite. Check this out. 67. It's hard to believe it's that old. Remember back in the 80s when the Jeeps, everybody had air, the Jeeps yeah. were so cool? Yeah. All the little thugs had, like CB4. Remember when CB4 yeah, came yeah, out? That was such a cool movie. <laughs> <laughs> cool movie. Yeah, it's, it's summer, it's summer race, or what are they called? The Suzuki Samurais? Oh yeah, the Samurais were all hot and everything, yeah. yeah. Hot, they were yeah. hot. Yeah. And the sidekicks and stuff, yeah. <laughs> what were we on in the 80s? What did you do on the 740? The 740 is a nice car. I sold it to a guy, I passed smog. Um, it's got 134 or so on it. Rebuilt the tranny 13,000 miles ago. $2,800 receipt. I want like 1,350 bucks. It's got a power steering leak. I believe it's just a hose. Haven't even put it in the air. I sold it to the guy. I smogged it. The guy hit the fan and started cussing out my guy that was delivering it uh, because it had a leak. And I said, fuck it, give him his money back. I don't want to deal with this asshole. I'd rather give, it's a, it's a nice one. It really is a good car. Well, they work. Do you know how much they work? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. You get like on a on a nice one of these, 25 to 35. We're talking about something nice. Huh? It's a nice car. It's just been sitting. It looks like a strong seven, seven and a half when it's all cleaned up. 